Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? Most of the episodes up to now have been reviews, but another aspect of what I'd like to accomplish with this channel is exploring the internals of what I own or have recently purchased. In preparing for this channel, I've already recorded footage of hard drive installations in an original G3 iBook and a 2012 iMac, just to see if I could do it. Those episodes will be coming soon. Currently, I have two sets of toolkits for my Fix-It, which have served me well during the last several years. But there are times where all I need is a simple screwdriver kit that was powered. Well, that's where this comes in. Today we're going to explore the Fantic E1 Max Precision Electric Screwdriver. Say that 20 times. This is what's next. Here's something a little different. The Fantic E1 Max. This is a uh, precision electric screwdriver from Fantic. Here's a screenshot of their website and their URL is below. And they make a variety of products. I have been noticing several YouTubers who have been using a tool, either this one or something similar to it, so as this channel progresses, one of the things that we're planning to do is actually tear things apart and build things, mainly electronics, obviously. And so I wanted to get something that uh, would help with that, and that would be this. And we're actually going to do something uh, to the laptop that we had several uh, months ago. That was the Evolve 3. I got some comments about the loose connections that were in here. And so we're going to use the... E1 Max to take this apart, but let's go ahead and let's see what's inside the box. Now, as you'll notice, there's some tape here. That's because I've already taken this apart. Yes, I ruin it every single time with everybody. Uh, I don't do fresh openings. Uh, I actually live with this product and get an idea of how it works and is it even worth doing a video on. So this here is our USB cable, a pretty decent packaging. And there is, obviously, yours won't get stuck by the tape. Uh, that's it. There's nothing else in there. So we're not going to worry about the manual. We're going to look at this. All right. So build your ideas simply or simple. So this is all metal. So you're going to notice here it says pressing area. So what does that mean? This mechanism uh, is locked into place. And if I press this, watch what happens. We got this and bam. There is the precision screwdriver, and then here is the inside pieces. All your bits are located here. Now, the housing itself appears to be plastic. Um, there is the connection here. There's a spring. I don't know if you can see that. I'll angle it a little bit. In the bottom of the case, there is also uh, a place where you could kind of see the protrusion at the bottom. That obviously lines up with the hole here, which then goes into the screwdriver piece here. Uh, you get the, several bits with this particular kit. And, you know, as a reminder, I do use iFixit tools. I've used them for several projects, some of which you will see coming up. But there are times where I just want to do a simple project. And by pulling this out, this could sit on the desk. I can have it off to the side and we can do one of these videos like what we're going to do with the Evol 3 here in just a moment. All right, so in addition to the bits, you got this little spudger tool, which is a little weird. It's a little janky getting it in there. You have to kind of put it in at an angle. And this is your tweezers. All right, now one of the advantages with this is if I was to put this into the housing, you'll notice that it just kind of pops right back out. And then when you put it into the case like this, locks in, locks in, and then there you go. And again, you could just have that sitting on your desk. One of the other things that maybe you saw is these pieces are held in by magnets. So if I was to take one of these out, right, uh, and I just let it slide back in, there you go. All right, let's see how heavy is this? Here we go, we're gonna put this in the case. Lock it, lock it. 
and let's put this on here. And you'll see that it is 14.7 ounces. Well, if you made it this far, you must be excited about me unscrewing the Evolve 3 laptop. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention was that this housing is also metal. We do know that the piece that I need is this one here. So we're gonna go ahead and you'll see that it just should snap in right there. So that's in there magnetized. And go in here and magnetize it as well using the magnetization zone. Very fun stuff. Yes, that one is not out. All right, so we have this one screw back here that's being a jerk and it doesn't want to come up. Um, there it goes. Whoops, and then there you go, we dropped it. I wonder if we could use the spudger. And now, pops right off. All right, so this was the issue here that a lot of people saw and they thought that that was a bad idea. And I don't disagree with them. A little janky, but I think that works. For all you viewers who commented about that, I think we got it fixed. It's not connected to the metal, everything's covered. We should be good to go. We're going to use our Fantic to get everything screwed back together. That one's not going in, because it needs to get snapped in. All right. There you go. Well, what can I say, but this is the tool that'll be great for my future projects. It's well built, easy to access and quick to get going. I found the process of taking apart the Evolve 3 laptop a bit easier than in a prior episode. While I kept calling the one tool a spudger on the website, they list it as a pry bar. My bad. However you say it, it worked as expected and allowed me to quickly loosen the bottom shell of the laptop. While Fantic is not sponsoring this episode, I did notice they're running an anniversary special on their website and on Amazon. So that's good news for anyone interested in this tool. I have no clue how long that's gonna last. As I have several hands-on projects to complete for this channel, this definitely will not be the last time you see this precision electric screwdriver. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Thanks for sticking around. If you like what you saw, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see future episodes, slap that subscribe button and turn on notifications. If you're interested in another episode, I'll leave links here and here. Until next time, I'll see you again in another episode of Hey, What's Next?